3GPP is a partnership program between uh, uh, seven standard development organizations, SDO, across the world that they got together and they created a partnership program to create specifications that they can adopt then in the different uh, uh, SDOs. The, the work is done in a collaborative fashion by, by different member organizations and the results of those are then uh, transmitted back to the member organizations that publish them as national standards. It really has been uh, uh, this uh, successful partnership program which has produced the specification of the different generations of uh, uh, cellular systems and as we now are uh, in the full uh, evolution of LTE, we are also starting to work on the 5G because of course our partners really want us to develop a 5G system which will also make the IMT 2020 submission for ITOR and uh, will uh, basically address the connectivity needs of our partners for the next decade. In this particular case, we, we uh, have a set of shared objectives that we've been able to glean through work that's been done in many of these regional organizations, that uh, NGMN being one of them and, and 4G Americas, organizations in, in, in each of the regions. And these organizations have uh, basically produced uh, vision and requirements. The basic requirements are coming from, from uh, IMT 2020 through, through the ITU. And uh, in the end, what, what uh, 3GBP will do is produce standards to satisfy those requirements. There are different views on where operators want to deploy the new radio and, ex and exactly the use cases for the new radio. But looking at the whole approach, we have decided that we are going to design a fully capable system meeting all the IMT 2020 requirements by beginning of 2020, where there will be the release 16 uh, freeze in, in March 2020. By that time, we will have a fully capable system meeting all the requirements. But at the same time, the emerging consensus is we will do an earlier version of the 5G specification with not, not addressing all the capabilities, but addressing some more stringent market needs that are a little bit earlier than others. And for that, we will have an earlier release in mid of 2018. Uh, again, addressing only a subset of the use cases and the requirements, but based on the market needs, we, which we'll, we will establish. You can, see, you can already see some emerging uh, earlier market needs, but we are not making any decision at this point in 3GPP. At the moment, we are going to start a study, looking at the broader picture, try to address, uh, have a design of the new radio and platform, which is flexible enough so that the, all the use cases will eventually be addressed. But when time comes in one year and a half, two years, to decide what will be in the first release of the specification, this early release of the specification by 2018, we'll make some hard choice on this goes first and this will come later. Now, one important thing is, uh, given that we have decided that we'll have this phasing, and it's important that we make sure that uh, we design our system so that uh, we can add uh, capabilities to the platform in an optimal way. And to do that, we have decided we'll have to look, have a design that is forward compatible at its core.